everyone, welcome back. I'm Eli Schilling, Director of Product Management for Oracle Cloud, and this is our sixth and final video in the series, Networking in the Cloud. Today, we're gonna to take a lot of the pieces that we talked about in previous sessions, and we're gonna mold them all in together to create this advanced networking pattern that we call transit routing. Now, the key benefit of transit routing is it enables us to leverage a single connection between an on-premises environment and an OCI virtual cloud network, but utilizing that existing connection to interact with multiple virtual cloud networks within OCI. So let's go ahead and just bring back that diagram from last week. And again, we left off with two VCNs that were peered. And I'm gonna grab this VCN and we're just gonna move it down a little bit here so it's more centered. Now, this is going to become our, our hub VCN. This over here will be our spoke VCN. And we're just gonna control copy, control V again, so that we can have another VCN. Now, we'll go ahead and establish a VCN peering connection. So one more local peering gateway here and here. And then we're gonna just gonna attach those two together. So now we have one virtual cloud network that is currently peered to two separate virtual cloud networks. Now, VCN1 here is able to talk to two and it's able to talk to three, but given the current configuration, VCN2 and three cannot communicate with each other. That's by design, we're good. So let's go ahead and bring back the VPN connection, so the dynamic routing gateway and the VPN connection that we had uh, back in week two. And this is just to simulate our on-premises environment and how we would configure this infrastructure to allow us to communicate from on-prem to VCNs two and three by leveraging our existing FastConnect or VPN connection. Now the key point here with transit routing is we need to create a couple of new route tables. Uh, so we're just gonna create one here on the DRG and that is specific to the dynamic routing gateway. So as traffic arrives at the DRG, it's able to evaluate those routes for additional destination networks. Uh, so what happens is we create this route table that says, my destination network is actually uh, 172.16 slash 16. And to get there, I've got to use this local peering gateway on the other side of my VCN to communicate. We now have the right route configuration to allow traffic to flow from on-prem, arrive at the DRG, it gets forwarded over to the uh, local peering gateway and then into VCN2. Now to get that traffic back, we're gonna create another route table right here on the local peering gateway inside of our hub network. That route table is going to have the destination network of on-prem, that uh, 10.0 slash 16, and the target is our dynamic routing gateway. So now when the traffic is flowing from VCN2, it arrives at the local peering gateway, transits across, it looks at that route table that we've specified for the on-premises network and routes right to the DRG. The DRG then takes care of moving the traffic back to on-prem, and now we have that end-to-end -end connection from our on-premises infrastructure and our hub and spoke virtual cloud networks. So the final product, if I'm in my data center here and I need to communicate with an application in VCN2, just flow right on through to the application, and then the response comes right back into my on-premises data center. So there you have it, folks. That is the notion of transit routing. Again, utilizing this hub virtual cloud network with an existing uh, WAN connection to an on-premises network to enable communication from your, your on-prem site to multiple virtual cloud networks within the Oracle Cloud. Thanks for joining. Really hope you found this video series informative. Uh, check back in the future. We hope to be doing more of these and sharing a lot of great information with you. Thanks, everybody. Uh, Eli Schilling, signing off. <laughs>